So, a deep cup. This is Gilly Valenzuela. I'm a celebrity makeup artist. And today I'm going to collaborate with Style Philippines. And today we will going to recreate your favorite Thai BL actor. So, before anything else, of course, we need to tie our hair. So, we're not going to bother our work while we are doing our makeup. There you go. So, first step is, of course, your skincare. Your skincare is very important because most of Asian actors have a beautiful skin. So, we need to do the toning first. Of course, I'm already done washing my face. Cleaning, cleaning it by the toner. The main purpose of toner actually is to balance or, or to neutralize your pH balance. Aside from that, it can also help to tighten your pores. Also, it can give you the, that satisfaction that you clean your face very well because sometimes there are some residues that you didn't um, properly wash. Of course, we're already done with the toner. So our next step will be moisturizer. So I'm going to use Marc Jacobs Youth Wake Up um, Cream Gel. So I'm just putting the right amount of moisturizer on my face. Always remember that moisturizer is very important. Whether you are dry or you are oily. Always remember that your oil is different from your moisture. So you always need to use moisturizer as part of your skincare. So we just need to wait for it to settle in on our face or sink in on our face. So let's just wait a little moment of it. Okay, the next step, we already done with the skincare. Again, skincare is important, so don't forget to do that. The next step will be the primer. I'm going to use the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die for Primer. So I'm just going to put an ample amount, just a pea size, on my fingers and then put it on those part of the face that needs primer. On my end, I think I need primer all over my face. We all know that um, Asian actors or Thai actors have this good skin. There you go. I'm ready. I'm already, I'm already. I'm already done with the primer. So I'm just going to use my handy dandy mirror so you can easily see what I'm doing on my face. Okay. So next step, of course, is your foundation. I noticed on some BL actors or Thai actors that um, they have a really smooth and beautiful skin, and most of them as a lighter or fair complexions. So. Um, I'm gonna use a lighter shade or two shades of foundation. So I'm gonna use the Dior, Dior Forever Undercover, and um, Makeup Forever Matte Bevel Skin. The reason why I'm using two shades is because I'm going to mix, so I can get um, the desired color that I want to. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. There you go. It's kind of dark if you notice. So. I'm going to use a lot of lighter shade because I want my skin a little lighter on its normal because we are mimicking their skin, right? So, I'm just going to put it on my face like that. I just blend it by my fingers and I'm going to use my favorite beauty blender from real techniques so just a tip when applying a foundation always remember just to dab your foundation and not to drag it because if you're going to drag you're just defeating the purpose of putting it on the certain areas so if you notice it's kind of lighter on my skin because that's what we are aiming for we will still going to neutralize it later or balance it later by a bronzer or a contouring powder. Don't forget your eyes and your neck. Your neck is important. Always remember that. 
Though if you are wearing white like me, always be careful on putting foundation on your neck because it will be transferred. I think we're already done with the base. So the next step will be, of course, concealer. I'm gonna use concealer not because I want to highlight imperfection, but just to highlight those part of my face that I want to be highlighted, like my under eye. So I'm gonna use this Revlon in shade of number 30. It is a doe foot applicator. And then on my chin, so it can give an illusion that I have a good chin. Or a beautiful chin. And then we're going to blend it again. Again, just dab it on your skin. Don't drag it. I'm already done blending my foundation and my concealer or we are already done with the base so of course we need to finish it by powder powder is very important it's because since we are using something wet or something creamy on our face we need to set it or finish it by something matte so if you notice i'm just putting mostly the powders on the center of my face i'm just leaving the parameter of my face wet. I'm just leaving it behind. I'm just letting it wet. The next step of course will be contouring. Contour contouring is very important since we are recreating or mimicking their facial features. So now we are already done finishing our face but of course our powder. So we will go in to contour our face because we are mimicking their facial structure. So I'm gonna use the shade in the middle and if you don't know how to find your natural contour, you can do the fish face style. You see that? So I'm just putting it there and then blending it. Same as with the other side. And of course, don't forget your jaw. Your jaw is very important. You shouldn't forget it. We're also going to contour our nose or what they call nose line. I'm just using my fingers and I'm just going to follow the bridge of my nose so it will give an illusion that it's so tiny and pointed. We're already done with our contouring so if you notice I kind of changed my facial structure already by doing some contour. Of course, the next step will be the brows. And we want to mimic those um, thigh brows, but we will stay on at least natural looking one. So I'm just going to use this pencil liner or pencil eyebrow liner from Tony Moly. I'm just going to follow the pattern of my brows. There you go. You see that I already put something on the bald spots of my brows, but it still looks natural. So we will go in just to do the same step on the other side. There you go. But I find it a little thinner, so I want it to make it more fuller. Or fuller so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use an old mascara as a trick to make it fuller um, for guys I'm always using an old mascara because it's already dried up so it can still give you a little hint on your brows but the color is not too strong see it there you go. I already have a full brows. And again, I'm just using an old mascara. A dried mascara. Next step. Well, actually on my end, it's pretty easy to look like a Thailander or a Korean because I already have a chinky eyes and I'm already oriental looking. But we will going to give a little ump on the eyes. So it will going to emphasize that I have a chinky eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a shadow, a brown shadow for my eyes. 
I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona because I want something little orangey. This one would do the shade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use um, Pain Brush Blender and put it just in the lid of my eyes. I don't know if you see it, but there is it. Then I'm just going to blend it by my, uh, my fingers. We're going to do the same step on the other side. Do you, see, do you see it? There's already a little hint on my eyes. But it's not too much. It becomes more chinky, right? So, we're going to amp it, or we were going to emphasize it by, we were going to emphasize it by using a brown liner from K, pa K Palette. So, this is an eyeliner, but this is in the color brown, so it's not too much. And it also looks natural looking. And we will, I'm just going to do a cut liner just in the end of my eyes. Like this. It's like you are giving an illusion that you have a more chinky eyes. See it? Other side. There you go. It's not too much. It looks natural, but it gives an emphasis. It's em It's not. It's not too much. It looks natural, but it emphasizes the eyes. See. Next step will be um, we're going to go back on our powder and going to clean whatever did something wrong on our makeup. So I'm just going, I'm just cleaning it actually. And then what I'm gonna do is for the lips and for the cheeks, I'm gonna use just one product and this is from Hand Cosmetics. It's a lip and cheek paint. The reason why I'm using this is because it's dual purpose. So I'm just go ahead and tap my finger here and put it on my cheeks. Just a little. And for our lips. Don't forget your lips. There you go. Of course, recreating a Thai BL actor will not going to be successful if there's no glow on your face. So, what are we going to do is we will going to give glow on our face, on our skin. So, I'm just going to use this brush and this highlighter. I'm just going to put it here. There we go. And then blend it by my fingers. See the glow? See the glow? We're going to mimic on the other side of the face. Go. And we're going to blend it also. Same as the other side. So, what I'm going to do with the brush is I'm just going to blend it using this one. So it will diffuse whatever I want to diffuse. We are almost done. So the last step, and you shouldn't forget it, is to set your face with a facial spray or facial mist. So I'm gonna use this Kyrilan Fixer Spray. So the makeup the makeup will not go into move. I'm just going to spray it on my face directly. Like there you go. So we're already done 
with our Thai BL inspired makeup look but it's not yet complete without fixing your hair so I'm going back after I fix my hair. I'm already done fixing my hair and I want it natural as much as possible and if you want to achieve this look or to recreate your favorite Thai BL actor or more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe on their YouTube account and of course to follow their social media accounts like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. It's Gilly Valenzuela on IG while Giliano Valenzuela on Facebook.